or TPN, so total parental nutrition, neonatal, neonatal venous nutrition strategies. We believe it's critically important to minimize hyperglycemia and hyperlipidemia. So we're trying to keep glucose as 50 to 150. Um, we don't want them to get overly dry and get acute kidney injury. So we're trying to keep the sodiums less than 150, but we don't want to overly hydrate them and keep them above 135. So do this at 22 weeks, we're talking about gelatinous skin here with very high insensible losses, it requires frequent labs. Now, here's the thing that, that's controversial. You know, we use fluids often up to 350 mLs per kilo per day in the first couple of days. The reason is we don't do humidification. We don't do humidification because we're trying to accelerate the keratinization and minimize the risk of fungal sepsis. The advantage of being on all this fluid is that we can have everyone basically on 100 mLs per kilo per day of total parental nutrition. So they all can get four grams per kilo of protein. They can get their, full, their necessary calcium and phosphorus loads so they don't get hypophosphatemic. So we need to follow this closely. The other key thing is they don't need that much carbohydrates initially. You really want to keep your GAR when you start roughly four milligrams per kilo per minute or less so you don't get hyperglycemic. Once you get hyperglycemic and you're starting to have to worry about insulin drips, things get very complicated and tend not to do very well at all. We also buffer with a lot of acetate to compensate for proximal renal tubular acidosis so we don't have to overly ventilate aggressively to keep the pH above 7.25. Now, this low GAR um, stresses a lot of people out because it often takes a week before you can get up to much more than 50 to 60 calories per kilo. But the issue is that these babies aren't consuming that glucose, so you don't want them to be sit hyperglycemic. And they're basically, you're heating them, they're not moving much, and you're ventilating them fully. So the need for those higher calories comes about in second week of life, third week of life, fourth week of life. So as they get older, we will get up to the classic neonatal venous nutrition of 100 calories per kilo. But if you try to give that within a day or two of birth at a 22 weeker, they're gonna get hyperglycemic and end up with hyperglycemia is associated with sepsis, associated with IVH, associated with severe ROP and increased mortality. Some of the babies that we've seen uh, pass away have all gotten hyperglycemic because people did not pay attention even, even, when, even when you try to standardize things, some people just don't pay attention and they get into trouble. Another thing is that you don't wanna push intralipids right away. And you certainly don't wanna start them before 12 hours life. And you don't wanna start high dose. You know, we start at a half to a gram per kilo per day in this, and not at birth, but the next day. And we never exceed two grams per kilo because we want a liver protector strategy. We don't wanna develop NVN cholestasis or TPN cholestasis. But more importantly, there's a great paper here by Dr. Sosinko back from 1993. And they did a study feeling if we gave babies one and a half grams per kilo lipids, we would save their lives because we'd be increasing antioxidants. And actually they found it was the opposite. The increased, death increased significantly in babies from 600 to 800 grams receiving intralipids. The death rate went up from 24 to 48%, so it doubled. So one and a half grams per kilo of lipids in the first 12 hours of life increase mortality from pulmonary hemorrhage. So you have to be very careful about initiating the lipids and taking your time and not pushing hard. The babies aren't gonna need this. Again, we're talking 22, 23 weekers. Now the opposite is protein is good. And so our goal is to get up to between three and a half and four grams per kilo per day of protein. Uh, we can't do that at birth. We, we have what we call our starter NVN, which is pre-made NVN. That NVN is, is, is to give them one and a half grams per kilo of protein at birth. And then the next day, we'll, the new NVN will work it up you know, pretty quickly to three and a half to four grams per kilo. Um, this is, has to be done because you just don't know how, exactly how much fluid you need in the beginning. And we don't wanna waste a lot of um, NVN. The other thing that we do that's unique is there's this great work here by Shessex that showed that if you shield your parental nutrition from light, improved survival rate in premature infants. And he actually did a lot of primary work plus the meta-analysis. So our NVN is photoprotected from creation, from transport, and in our tiny babies, 
until we get to the UVC or the PIC line, they have opaque tubing. And the rooms, individual rooms are light controlled, so the, there's never really very intense light ever on that NVN. So it's hard for me to say, you know, what percent is due to this or that, but these are all practices um, that we do.